My sponsor, Rock Bottom, is currently running a special deal. Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com and use code ZERK at checkout for a 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video. Today we have the next episode of the Pack and Play series. And of course, if you guys did not see my other videos from today, make sure you guys go ahead and check them out. And of course, smack that like button down below, guys. We only have a few more weeks until Madden 20, so Pack and Play, guys... Depending on how much you guys want to see, if you destroy that like button, we have about, I'll say and probably have about two and a half more weeks doing pack and play. Probably about mid-July is when I'll stop doing pack and play. So if you guys want to see more episodes, make sure you destroy that like button below. As you guys can see by the team, we still are working up here at TYO and still working up here in this offensive line. And of course, on the defense side of things, looking pretty deadly. Hopefully we can go into this game, get a couple more packs than we did last game, and come out with a W. Let's get into it. So this is my opponent, Wiki Bobby. <laughs> Funny name. He's got Juju Smith Schuster and Michael Vick. Alright, let's see if we can generate a pass rush here. He does have Adrian Peterson backfield, Mike Vick, Tyree Kill. He has JJ Arcega Whiteside. And on the first run, he's picking up a gain of four. Let's see if he's gonna go back to the run game. Actually goes to the pass. Gonna be some slants, and that's gonna be an easy user pick with Ray Lewis. I actually oh man, I thought I could juke him out there, but at least we got the pick. Easy interception there. We're down to the 17-yard line. Of course, we got to try to get the ball to T.Y. I'm just going to run four verticals, see if he can beat him over the top, which I actually think maybe he can come down with this. No, he can't. So I think my opponent's going to send a man blitz, which if he does, T.Y. Hillen should be open, I think, here. Uh, we just got to get the ball pretty quick, which it looks like he is going to be sending a man blitz. I'm going to try T.Y. Hillen and see if we can get this upgrade. T.Y., that ball went right over his head. On the last play ball literally went right over his head. This time, T.Y. Owen right up the seam, and he's in for the touchdown. I don't know how he got in there. Now, T.Y. Owen's next upgrade is a 99 overall, so he's going to need, like, three touchdowns in order to get that, but we already have one. It hasn't even been a minute yet. I'm expecting another run play here, probably a toss. No, it actually is going to be a pass. Got to watch out for, oh, okay, across the middle. Nice little play there to J.J. Arcega. For some reason, I was thinking that was going to be, like, the Texas route there to AP, but I don't even know if he has that route available uh first time let's see who's gonna go to here probably gonna be running it to the right side which he is gonna be running to the right side i'm all over that and i let him run right past me so my opponent seems to be very much so about the run game here as ap's probably gonna be a little bit tired which it actually looks like he's not tired surprisingly watch out for the flats and oh okay now i know for a fact where he likes to go so he likes to run like drags and stuff but also have someone on like a curl route or a stop route like that and then he likes to throw it. So I'm going to be able to bait him pretty easily this game as AP is breaking a tackle, breaking like three tackles. I don't think he got the first though. Alright apparently Adrian Peterson actually did pick up the first down there. He's going to a play action and Ray Lewis comes away with the interception by himself. For once, I actually didn't have to use or someone to get an interception. Ray Lewis made a great play. And now I'm going to try and find T.Y. Hill in deep down. The, if he's going to run another man blitz, this should be wide open. And I'm going to go to T.Y. across the middle. Good catch. We can juke out the safety. Dang it, we couldn't. And I think my opponent is about to rage quit the game, which if he does, we get one for the win. One for him having zero points and one for the rage quits. That's three additional packs. So since that game was before halftime, we're going to go into the next game, and I'm going to count that T.Y. Hilton touchdown, so if we can get him two TDs in this game, we can go ahead and upgrade him. Really? I honestly cannot remember the last time I fumbled on a kickoff, but we just fumbled right there, and my opponent was able to recover. This is going to go great. Starting off the 17-yard line just like that, this is freaking ridiculous. We got. I did not run commit. I did not run commit. So we started off with a fumble on the opening kickoff, followed by, I guess, me accidentally run committing, but I swear to you guys, I did not purposely run commit there. That would have been the dumbest thing ever. Please get that block, Walter Payton. Thank you very much. B is going to be wide open. Randy Moss way down the field. Randy Moss, keep going. Can we get this 94-yard touchdown? I doubt it, but we're all the way down to the 16. All right, all the way down to the 16-yard line just like that. I think we're going to try and run in here with Walter Payton and see if we can get this to go. He's, I mean, he's got two safeties here. Sean Taylor and Jamal Adams playing near the line. We should be able to get decent blocks as Walter P picks up a gain of seven. All right, it's third and three. Let's see if someone's going to get open here. T.Y. Owens wide open. He tried to come on a safety blitz there, and that's another touchdown for T.Y. 
So T.Y. Hilton now has two touchdowns towards his upgrade, and that was a very, very weird play action. I haven't seen that before. He's going to be routing on the field. William Jackson couldn't jar it loose. For some reason, that play action definitely tricked me very well that this should be... Wow, that's another play action? Dang, that's a really good play action. Going back to the same play, but William Jackson is not going to allow that two times in a row. William Jackson, we get the pick six. Just got to juke out Mike Vick, which we do. And William Jackson should be able to pick six this in my opponent rage quit. All right, so I guess my opponent rage quit there. Now, we had seven total packs before he rage quit. I am going to count that as a pick six because that was definitely going to be a pick six when he quit the game. So that's going to be two packs there. So we're going to have nine total packs for that. Then we go over the rage quit and the win. 11 total packs. Now, T.Y. Hilton had two touchdowns and I think like 60 total yards. I don't think that's deserving of a 99 overall upgrade. So we're not going to go ahead and upgrade him, but we are going to get those additional packs. So we are going to have 11 total packs to go ahead and open up, which means to get two special edition packs, which right now is going to be clutch packs. Definitely my least favorite elite player pack. Honestly, these packs are pretty bad for me. But maybe they'll turn it around here and we'll actually get some pretty solid pulls as we get. Man, I really thought that was going to be somewhat glitchy. 93 overall, Taylor Rapp. And we already have Juan Thornhill at back of Save. This man has 88 speed. Definitely not going to use him. But that's a good amount of training right there. 6,400 training. And we get a 93 in the first one. Maybe we can top that in the second clutch pack right here. Can we get like a 96 or something? Okay, we get an ultimate legend, 90 overall. We still have a chance, though, to get another uh, elite player here, which we unfortunately do not. So we get 90 overall Marcus Allen and a 93 overall Taylor Rapp there, and we have 11 gold player packs to go ahead and get into. Let's see what we're going to be able to get out of these gold player packs, and hopefully... Next episode, we can work on T1 a little bit more. I was trying to get the ball like to him as much as I possibly could, which we definitely did a pretty solid job of, but we only got two touchdowns, and I want to make sure we stick to the rules and make it at least three. Greg Olson there, and 81 overall Daniel Sorensen. We're going to buy two more of these single gold player packs, and then we have the eight gold player packs from the bundles. Reveal all here. We get an 81 and an 85 overall Tony G. I'm trying to think of what we can use training points for and I don't think right now we really need training for anyone, uh, but I can double check on that because I honestly don't remember. 87 overall Steve Atwater. I believe that the next thing we really need training for would be like, I, think, I don't think Larry Allen, has, Larry Allen's a set card. Is there someone that we could get with training? I honestly can't remember. I know we got Willie Rofe last episode, which he was a 99 overall with training. We get an 84 overall Billy Price right there. I don't think we can. Uh, we get an 84 overall Eddie George right there. And a 75 overall Shaq Lawson, third out of the eight. Go player packs here. We get 79 overall Theo Riddick and a 79 Tom Johnson. Can we at least get like 192 or 93 overall? Paul? I mean, we already have like probably close to 10k training uh, after all these packs so that's gonna be very nice to add to our total we get an 89 overall and an 86 power up is gonna be bruce matthews we already have still trying to get that power up lawrence taylor we have yet to pull that dude at all in any single episode i think this is the final go player pack which no it's actually not can we get a lead we get an 86 and a power up miles garrett that's a nice card there but again we basically have all of our defensive ends done uh, 80 overall Robbie Anderson and we ended off with the 77 Johnny Townsend All right, so to all those cards we just got we get to go ahead and add 13,836 training to our total So now total guys we have 36,960 training something a little bit weird though. It's like really really weird So the last two episodes are training totals that we get to add to our team and the last episode it was 18,363 so the numbers used in that are 18363 or 1836 this episode we just added 13,836 training so 13,836 training that's 1386 Okay then, that's a little bit weird. <laughs> but take a look at the squad. T.Y. Owen is next upgrade is 99, so I don't think we qualify for that. And we definitely did not throw for 300 yards even total from those two games combined. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment, of course, in the next episode. Hopefully our opponents will stay a little bit longer. We are closing in now on the playoffs, so I think we're only three games away from the playoffs right I'm pretty sure we're only three games away so if we go ahead and win these games make the playoffs see if we can get one or two more Super Bowls before Madden 20 starts this is an all Madden second strength too so these are not some bum kids but I hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did smack the like button subscribe and comment 
I'll see you guys next time.